President Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr. bewail the helplessness and efforts the Philippine government exerted over the last five to six years to save a Filipino migrant worker who unintentionally took the life of a Saudi Arab over money matters. Our Kenneth Pashenta tells us more on the Philippine government to repatriate and afford full benefits to the family of the executed OFW moving forward. President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. expressed sadness over the fate of a Filipino in Saudi Arabia who was sentenced to death after killing a Saudi national. According to the president, despite the government's best efforts to save the Filipino's life, the family of the Saudi national refused to accept the offers from the Philippine government, including the blood money. We had very few options left. Uh, we tried everything and for many, many years. And uh, the, the Saudi government uh, really uh, tried to uh, look and to be sure that uh, the judgment uh, uh, of hanging uh, was, uh, was actually deserved. And nonetheless, we, we, we appealed to uh, the better natures against of our friends in Saudi Arabia uh, to perhaps uh, have another look, and they did. And unfortunately, uh, the law there is very strict, and apparently uh, uh, the conviction has, uh, has stood and uh, uh, one of ours has uh, uh, been taken away. But uh, yes, um, very unfortunate. The president also shared that the government has been addressing this issue for several years and there has been uninterrupted coordination between the Philippine government and the Saudi authorities. This has been going on for how many years? Uh, it's around the five, six years. Yeah, sir. yeah I remember about well, five, six years ago. I, I, I came upon it when I came into office and they told me it's an, it's an old... Uh, and as I, as I said, I guess Saudi tried to exhaust all possibilities. So did we. Uh, but uh, to no avail. The chief executive extended his condolences to the family of the Filipino who requested their identities remain undisclosed. He also assured that the government will provide all the needs of the family. Uh, we'll see what they need. We'll see what they need. But, but, but uh, for, for someone who dies abroad at an OFW, they, there are many, uh, there are, we have many procedures for that uh, to bring them back home. So I don't think that will be a problem. Meanwhile, the Department of Migrant Workers is coordinating with the Department of Foreign Affairs for the repatriation of the Filipinos' remains. They are also providing assistance to the family. We're um, working with, closely with the DFA uh, on that matter and then uh, <clears throat> yeah, rest assured that we're assisting the family. Uh, our, our, the DMW has, has visited the family and assured them of our support and, and assistance. The Philippine was sentenced to death after killing a Saudi national allegedly over a money-related dispute. Kenneth Pasciente from the National TV Network for a new and better Philippine.